What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video we will finalize the build template. Now we will fill in these, you know, symbol number products, quantity and amount with the actual data. So, fill dynamics. And we will say r equals to zero, or we will say one to introduce the symbol numbers. And we'll say for t in, uh, <clears throat> for t in uh, okay products list we'll say products list because the length of all the list is same this moment products list we will say f dot write so what we need to write is a new line every time three tabs and it will insert the symbol number which is R plus we need a single tab plus a string of products list and its index is going to be R as well and we are going to get only the seven characters from it to make the bill look quite managed then we will add two tabs because the quantity has two tabs plus a string of product quantity r and then sorry plus we need another two tabs again for the amount plus a string of product price R. I think that's enough and uh, I think we're good to go file dot close so let's test this let's hope there's no any errors we'll buy one from these we'll buy two from these and generate bill okay sorry this is not in the database this is in the invoice and this was created at 737 okay it is good okay there is one error but the formatting is quite good it is on the symbol products quantity and amount that error is we have to increment r by one in every iteration or else it will see only the first element every time so we'll buy a lot of things now one one two two three one four one five two one one okay we'll buy all this stuff and we'll say gender bill there's an error it says list index out of range okay where is the error list index out of range mm. Or t in product underscore list let's just close this for a while because maybe some value is less I guess let's try that again sorry I'm using a bass console here so we'll add one two two one three one four two oh I, I, th I think I get the problem here we said to iterate up to for like seven characters but pen has three characters so that was a problem so we'll generate bill again there's an error that shouldn't be an error actually why is there an error Mm, I get it every time it's increasing by one but actually it starts counting by zero so so we will say I equals to zero or what we can do is um, 
at plus equals to one, so it is not increasing the value for. Okay, string R. I get it. It's not iterating for each values, and there was probably an error because of the indexing problem. Yes, I think we're good to go now. We'll increment R by one as well for the symbol number. You'll know what I mean now. I think there won't be an error. I will say 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, bill, done everything successfully. So time was 7.44, 7.44, and as you can see it's good. It says battery, sandals, pen, 2, whatever it is, quantity, okay it's good. What we're going to do is um, plus this and we can do is to seven. To bring uniformity, and we'll try that again. It says error for what? Invalid syntax. Okay, okay, I get it. Is that the end? Yes, it is. So we'll try that again. One, two, two, one, three, one. Janet Bill. Everything done smoothly. Time seven forty six. And there you go, everything is good. So if it has pen, it will create these dots to make it to like the to increase the length and to uniformly make it to seven. So that's that's cool. So we need to add the total amount here now. So for the total amount, we'll say we'll not tell the file yet. We'll say f dot right in the double new line three tabs total rupees and plus string of sum of products price and we'll also write some message a uh, new line three tabs thanks for uh, visiting Okay, this will be the last test, I guess. Uh, we'll buy one, one, two, two, three, one, four, two, gender bill, everything done smoothly. We'll check the bill, 47. Okay, it's great. It looks like a bill. For the pin, the, as you can see, there are seven characters, or eight as I said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven characters. There's total, there's message, you can add this stuff. And we will print this bill in the next tutorial. For, until then, stay tuned for my next video.